Okay, uh, my name is Philip Blames. Uh, this year is about uh, 55 years old. And I'm a fish farmer. Ubin is very unique. So this is only a last kampong we have in Singapore. Uh, Pasta Ubin is a very special uh, so-called a festival that we organize. The purpose of Pasta Ubin is to cap the sustainability of the uh, villagers because uh, apparently we only have 36 uh, villagers who stay full times in these islands. And this island is, is really, really unique and 90% of Singaporeans had not came to Ubin before. I'm trying to create awareness of your living fisher village. We want uh, Singaporeans to come to Ubin to feel a traditional food, a warm coming, uh, welcomes, you know, a relationship of kampongs and we also part of the Ubin's residents to help the community work such as to take care of the elderly. We are here beside Restore Mangroves Project. We also want to bring back our heritage, cultures that to educate the next generation Kampong spirits is not that a city folks can say, you know. You have to feel it. You have to you have to really come here and and experience yourself so-called the Kampong spirit. But all the activities we we we, we try to to perform or to launch is your idea, it's not our idea. You think it's the best, you do it. You are the one who participate and you are the one to you know think about it and how to make things success. No doubt you are just a participant. We want you to feel something you are the kampong. You are in the kampong, you have right to suggest things that what you exactly look for. That's our main purpose. We don't particularly fix up the program. The program can change any time, you know? And it's free and easy to love the nature and this moving island. Ultimately, we are from a fisher village. Up to today, we have a so-called world-class, high-tech uh, country. But where is our history from fisher village? No history. No documentary. This is a chance for us to, to do something for that. Come to bring your heart and come to feel the Ubin. If you think you have sablet in terms of your times, in terms of monetary, you can contribute. Not only money, that's not so important about money, it's more important about your heart and you love the nature. This, I can say, is all up to you. We need more volunteers to come in to help the elderly in Ukraine. That's not easy, this is not an easy task. So hope that uh, more people will come in and really join our uh, volunteer works. Uh, clean up their house, you know, take care of their medications. This is our dream. Okay? Perfect? Thank you.